Shalom, shalom, shalom. I just want to let you know how important you are. Yes, maybe you didn't know your importance. That's why you are behaving anyhow. That's why you can do anything without thinking because you believe you are of no importance. But I just want to let you know you are more important than you think. And that is the secret that the devil hid from you. Yes, the devil is letting you know that you are, you are more important. But I'm trying to tell you that you're very much important. Yes. Do you know that Christ is God? And he came as a man and died for you, for you to be saved. Yes. The first man, Adam and Eve, the, the first man, Adam and Eve, fell. And God immediately made a provision. He provided he. He, he provided a, 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 a solution. Yes. And Christ, after so many years, Christ came, died to set us free. They set you and I free. Yes. Do you know that so many systems is being set in the world because of you? People went to study, medicine, agriculture, um biology uh, law so many things why because of who because of you yes government set up a system because of who because of you god set up a system because of you because of you 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 who is watching me you are very much important yes you are very very much important and don't take yourself for granted because you are very important. And devil knows that, that you are important. That's why he's raging. He's trying to make things difficult for you so that you will accuse God. You will kill yourself. You will do so many things without knowing your importance. Yes. Do you know that people throw stones at a tree? That is so fruitful. And you are a fruitful tree. That's why the devil is throwing stones at you. He doesn't want you to succeed. He's so jealous. He blew his chance in heaven. While he was trying to overthrow God. And he was thrown down. And since then, he has been at rage. He has been raging against man. Because he knows the importance of man. He knows that God loves you so much. He knows that God can do anything because of you. He even sent Jesus, his only begotten son, to die for you, a mortal man. Do you know how many angels God unleashed because of you to, go, to stand by you, to work for you, to work with you, to, to fight for you? Do you know that? Yes. That's why I... I'm making this video to let you know. Come out and uh, appreciate who God has made you to be. Who God has made you to be. Come out from your evil. That's why the devil is taking advantages of you. He's trying to lure you into that sin. Into that mess. Because he knows he has blown his chances. He knows that he has no more chances. No more forgiveness. You, under the, under the sound of my voice, come out and begin to ask God for forgiveness. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Ask him to forgive you. Come back. Come to him. He will accept you. Forsake your sin. Start now to obey his commandments. Appreciate for him for making you important. That devil is so much jealous of you. But you didn't know because you were ignorant. Don't go to the devil for anything because the devil will not give you any good thing. It's just an illusion. What you are seeing the devil is giving to you is an illusion. Don't sell your best right because of a plate of lentils. Yes, don't do that. You are important. You are, you are the one that have the power. 
Christ died for you and gave you all the power. The power is in your hand, only that you don't know how to use it. You, do, you should learn how to use the power, the weapon that Christ has made available for you. Listen to me and listen to me good. Do you know that devil can never give you any good thing? Because he hates you. You are only trying to deceive you, to lure you, so that he can be able to destroy you. Do you know what the Bible says in the book of John 10.10? 10? He said that the devil comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. But Christ came to give you life and give it to you abundantly. If devil gives you head, if, if, devil, if, if, if devil gives you cap, he will collect your head. If he gives you eyes, he will collect your sight. If he gives you ears, he will collect your auditive. If he gives you shoes, he will collect your legs. If he gives you eyes, he will collect your sight. He can never give you anything good. If he gives you healing, if he heals you from one disease, he will put several ones in you. If he gives you words, he has already brought your soul over. So please be wise. Be wise. Be wise. And appreciate your importance. Appreciate who God has created you to be. Find by any Bible, good Bible believing church where they will preach holiness, righteousness, salvation so that you will, you will save your soul. Save your soul. Don't depend on the spiritual gift you have. The Bible says that the, the gift of God, the calling and the gift of God is of no repentance, but we should work out our salvation with trembling. Please, don't allow the devil to deceive you. Don't allow the devil to deceive you. Read your Bible. Obey the word of God. Shalom. Remain blessed. Bye. As for riches, pray to God. The word and fullness of all is yes. He will give it to you at the two time. But first and foremost, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And every other thing shall be added to you. That is his word in the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Remain blessed. Bye.